Oh, good morning, everyone. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm up and about. Yeah, it's all in my hammock, I don't see the point, but. It's up and about, just quickly getting the fire going again. With some coffee and whatnot. This is view this morning, I don't know if you can. You can see that mist a bit on the lake, I think. Pretty cool. Oh, I don't know if you see that out in the middle frame there. That's a fish rising. That's been just all night. Heard them all night splashing, like really coming right out of the water. Phew. I'll tell you what as well, the amount of uh, little forest mice over here, or in this woodland anyway, is crazy. You could hear the things all night, a couple of times I saw them. And I, uh, when I heard them, and then quickly got my light on. But they're too small, too quick for me to film. Anyway. That's us back in business. I'm going to get the coffees on. Back again, guys. Just making some uh, some spam and eggs. This stuff isn't quite uh, the same as spam, it's a little bit. It's a little bit softer. But we'll make it work. <laughs> well, let's see. Oh, there's that one cracked egg. But it did survive, so. Making some quick breakfast just now because uh, I won't be keeping the I won't be keeping the fire on all day. Like I'll let it go out. I've already got my coffee. Just gonna eat this straight from the pan like a savage. Yeah, spam and eggs, man. The Hawaiians got it right. I think I'm right in saying that's the national dish. So, yeah. I'm gonna let that finish off and I'll spare you me eating it. Well, guys, I have I've had my breakfast, so I'm nice and full, finished my coffee. Um I tried fishing with that little pole I made last night, it was a total bust, it's just nah, not the right thingy. So I've got rid of that. <laughs> and I'm maybe gonna try, I'm maybe gonna dig up some worms as well. I know there's someone I was digging the little fire pit, so I've made like a little, little hobo reel. You can see the hook made out of safety pin there. I don't know, it's just a it's just a mess around. There is lots of fish as I said close in there. Um my foot's feeling a little bit better. It's still sore but I can walk a little bit so I'll maybe 
have a wee investigatory around here today. See what I get to. I've got all day, so. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I see, it's almost set up, no tarp. Don't need any. Just gonna let that fire burn out now. So I've eaten uh, I've eaten, I've got that that bigger bigger pot next to my, my thingy, that's purified water that's been boiled, it's just been allowed to just sit and cool now, so I've got water in that for the day. I won't be drinking any more coffee maybe till later, so yeah, it's just chill time. The only unfortunate bit is there was a... Like across the lake and through the woods a wee bit there, there was a... Lumberjacks. Makes it a bit noisy, but... Eh, what can you do? You see my little friend there? Just on that branch, his ears sticking out. <laughs> so... It's a red. Red squirrel, is that? What kind is it? Long-eared squirrel? Tufted squirrel? I don't know. Wondered what that noise was. Yeah, oops. Wonder what that noise was he's making. He's going chup, chup, chup. <laughs> yeah, hear him? He's just right there in the middle of the frame. Oh. I made a lot of noise, he doesn't seem too bothered. <laughs> Loads of wildlife out today. Oh, there's another fish. I didn't have a I didn't have my phone on me, but I went to go toilet. Uh and I saw a snake. Went down through the reeds in there. Uh grass snake I think. Pretty sure it was a grass snake. Not that if I see snakes, I'm going to go and pick them up. But I know the only poisonous one in Europe is an adder, and I know exactly what that looks like. But uh, probably going down there to hunt frogs because I've seen frogs. I've only caught a glimpse of them. Fast little things, but <laughs> it's an awesome day out today. There's a wee fishy. There's more there. You just can't see them on camera, right? I don't think. You zoom out, you might see all the wee shapes in the water. That's why I had the idea about maybe fishing. Just for some fun. I think they look like... I think they're roach or something. Oh. Trying to focus in. I can see him. Where's he going? It's just there. There's a wee lizard. So looking at me like. Look at that, is that him right in the centre of the frame? I think that's his head. Can maybe just make out. He's just sitting still, sitting watching me. Oh, finally I've managed to not scare a frog. See him there? Just sitting. He's going kind of sneaky to this tree to try and... Uh, See the fish close up. As you can see, just out there. It's all over, really. And then I came across this little guy. Pretty much, if I move again, he'll go. He's just sitting there, sunning himself, getting a wee bit of warmth. I think that's why I'm seeing so many of them out. It's like early morning, well, late morning. 
Oops. Or 11 o'clock ish. They're out sunning themselves. Hee! Loads of wildlife up this week there. Oh, I see the snake there. It just disappeared over behind that. Saw out on that log. You just caught a wee clip of that. Guys, hobo fishing. Mark two. Done a hobo reel, so got that. I've changed my float and it it looks big, but I've actually just used it and it scares the fish for a second and as soon as they turn around and swim straight for the worm. <coughs> I dug up some worms. But I've got a much better hook this time. The way I had it before it wasn't it wasn't very good. I think it was way too big. That might even be too big. But what I done was I don't have pliers or that. So I used a bit on my thingy just to bend it over. This little bit in here just to bend it over. So hopefully it'll work. I'm going to test it out maybe a wee bit more and I'll uh geez, I'll, I'll get back to use when I the thing I'm going for the small fish. I don't know if you can see those ripples there. That is a big that is a big fish. That's not these little thingy ones. That must be a fish of at least a couple of pounds or bigger. Oof. See those big snatches in the water? I reckon that's actually uh that's potentially pike taking frogs. <laughs> Lots of frogs around and the pike will be hungry just now. After the winter, so could be. That's why all the roach are staying really in shallow. So guys, time's ticking on. I think before it's dark this time, which is unusual for me, um, I'm going to start preparing dinner. So it'll be a few stages. But see, so you notice this, I've got the, sorry, the star fire thing going on again. And that's, I don't think it's oak, but it's ash or something, whatever that fallen tree, whatever that fallen tree is. It's a hardwood, whatever it is. A very hardwood. It just sits and smoulders away. Ideal for the type of cooking that I'm going to be doing. And also, it doesn't give off a lot of smoke. It's maybe not the brightest. But if you want bright, you can add little sticks in that too if you want a little bit more light. Um, but the coal base that's in there will be really, really hot. So, the type of cooking I'm doing will be requiring two poles like this. And something like this. <clears throat> Which I am going to prepare. These don't need to be too fancy, these are just these are just upright, this doesn't really matter. All I'm doing is really Oh is that better? All I'm doing is really just putting a wee point on them. So again, yes, this is living wood, but uh, as I said, it's the hazel and stuff up there, which out of all the saplings, these ones were actually smaller, so um, the other ones were more developed around them, so they've got a lot more chance of making it rather than these anyway <clears throat> but also as you know things like hazel willow you know they they grow back vigorously you know, you've cut one especially off willow <laughs> cut one branch and three bloody sprout So, part one's done. Uh, I'm not going to sit here for the whole thing just to show you carving because, you know, I'm sure you guys get the gist off it. Um, I'll bring you back when we're kind of set up and, and uh, maybe cooking. Because it's a multi-day trip as well, so I need to do maybe shorter clips. It's going to be a long video. I, I was going to do day by day. 
upload day one, day two, day three, and so on. But I'm not getting the best. Uh, I'm not getting the best internet connection here. And also the. What was it earlier on? Yeah, earlier on today. When I saw that snake, I was actually I'd, I'd edited. I'd edited a film. Or I'd edited something together. And I was saving it to the gallery on my phone before I can export it. And uh, I had to cancel that because that's when I saw that snake. So I just hit cancel and then I thought, right, screw it. I'm just going to do one big... And maybe I'll do three videos when I get home or maybe I'll just do one big long one. We'll see what the footage is up to. So oh, there we have it. <coughs> We're having a big old pork kebab. I'm just going to have it cooking slowly over there. Um, technically it doesn't need to cook all the way through because it's um, it's pork that's been in the sous vide. So it is technically already cooked. We're just going to slowly do it over the fire. I just want to well, cook it through and um, cook those veg. Get some of that smoke smell on it. I'm just going to have that with, a, with some rice. So uh, I'll bring you back when it's ready, because I'm sure you, uh, you're all fairly sure of how to cook a, a pot of rice. Okay, guys. About to say to be back. There we go, guys. So, <coughs> guys, sorry, dinner's ready. If you can hear all that rustling in the background, that's all the mice. I was talking before, I saw two of them earlier on. But uh, there we go, just some rice, pork, some vegetables cooked on a, on a kebab, so I'm going to sit and enjoy this now, and uh, I'll probably chillax for the night now. Well everyone, that is me wrapped up in my hammock now. Uh, I'm just going to try and get a good night's sleep. I fall asleep looking up at the stars. Although, <laughs> it's one of the noisiest woods I've ever been in. Because of the amount of leaves and those mice that run about, at least the cranes aren't across the water today. Or not, not that I've heard. They were there yesterday and going spastic all night. So, I uh, will bring you back if anything magic or tragic happens um, if not I'll see you all in the morning hello good morning all you lovely peoples we're up again just got my coffee going there quite an epic one this morning actually Squirrels are up. So I went through the trees there. Uh, yeah, I need to check what type of squirrel they are. Sort of black with tufts on their ears. We've got the fire going. Beautiful out on the lake again today. Uh, I'm going to make some breakfast and stuff. Just shortly, but first, as everyone knows, it's coffee time. Always coffee time. Which I have here. And, uh, yeah, I think, um, I think I'm going to be packing up today, heading back home. Whether I go home in one or I stop over for a night somewhere else, I don't know. We'll see how we feel. My foot's quite a lot better today, so... Should be able to do it. I don't know. We'll see. It's no rush. I've got all day. It's only about... Not even six. Well, it's about six in the morning now. So, yeah, plenty of time. Anyway, I'll bring you guys... See, I've not had my coffee yet. I'll bring you guys back uh, as and when I'm doing something. So guys, 
that's me all packed up. Take my rubbish out. Always take your rubbish out. Quite a few tins and stuff. Normally I burn it. But there's where I had my fire and my sheet and everything down. My hammock. So, not for you wouldn't really know I'd been here. <coughs> <coughs> So anyway, I'm not going to sign off yet because we might see some, uh, might see something good on the way back. I'll bring you back as and when we do. I'm telling you, it digs a hole like that. It was right down in. Uh, sand in that here, too, too uh, dry for tracks. Can't see any tracks. Maybe a fox. I don't know, maybe a fox or something. We're still on the way home. Getting through another bit of forest. Then we've got a couple of hundred yards of road and then we're back on the tracks again. Fairly uneventful so far guys. I'm gonna keep plodding on about about halfway now. Well guys, I think uh, this will be the last entry for this week. I'm not that far from home now mile and a half, two miles, maybe something like that. Uh, I'll sign off now. I don't expect to see much more on the way home. Certainly not bored or anything like that. It's too late in the day, it's too hot. So I'm just having a little break on my, <laughs> my little tyre that I found. Uh, grabbing the last of my water, really. And uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been an awesome camp. Uh, definitely. Really good location, if not a bit, bit far for walking, it's kind of wrecked me. Um, lots of nice wildlife, so that's been really cool. So, um, yeah, I mean, thanks, thank you everyone for watching. Thanks to my subscribers that's that's been here, and any new subscribers, if you're watching this, you know, and you want to see more content, then you know, please hit that subscribe button. If you want notifications, hit the bell. Um, and I think that's us, so I'll, uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.